Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a BTS back to school school supplies video, so keep on watching if you're interested. For the first project, you are going to need t-shirt transfer papers and a pouch. If you want, you can make the pouch like I did or you can purchase one from a store. Make sure to read your directions on your transfer sheets before starting anything. So first off, I'm finding pictures of BTS J-Hope because he is my bias and I printed those pictures out and I also cut them out. But like I said before, make sure to read the directions before you print anything out because some of them require an inkjet printer. I placed my pouch on a towel and began peeling the backs off getting ready for transferring. Once I have done that, I follow the directions on my transfer paper sheets and I began ironing on the images. Once you have completed ironing on the transfer paper, it should look something like this. For the next project, you are going to need a notebook, some baby clothespins, scissors, string, and a hole punch. And also these BTS um, Polaroid printouts, which I will show you how to make. So first, open Word or Google Docs and open your image and size it down to the size you need. Then you're going to go to Tools, Table, and click the one by one. Put your image into the table and drag the edges so it looks like a Polaroid. Next, cut them out. Now we are going to begin hole punching our notebook. So for this one I needed to use an X-Acto knife because my hole puncher wasn't really meant to punch a notebook. Now get out your string and we are going to measure how much string we need. Place one end of your string in one of the holes and wrap it around the journal so you get an estimated length. Cut the string. Next, loop your string in both holes and tie it in the back. You can also use tape to secure the knot in place. the journal back to the cover and you can now tape this so that way it sags in the way that you would like it to so it looks more like the clothespins are hanging on the string type of thing if that makes sense with your fake Polaroids we are going to now laminate them using some packaging tape so just cut out a piece of tape to the size of your Polaroid and put it on the front and back Smooth it out and then you can cut off the axis. You can now get out your miniature clothespins, remove the tape, and start arranging your pictures in the way that you want them. Next, just clothespin them on. Feel free to attach more than one string if you have more images. Also a tip is you can roll up some tape and stick it on the back so your image stays in place when you open and close your journal. For the 
next project, you are going to need seven sheets of cardstock, a binder of your choice, scissors, and some printouts of BTS meme faces. Also, a three ring hole puncher and some packaging tape for lamination. Open up your binder and get out one sheet of cardstock. Line up your sheet of cardstock with the three rings so that way it's centered. Once you have done that, go ahead and mark off the rings with the pencil. Repeat these steps with the other sheets of cardstock as well. This is to ensure that all the sheets of cardstock are going to line up when the holes are punched in them. Once you have done this, line up your three holes with your three ring hole puncher and go ahead and punch the holes. Once you have completed this step, you are now able to cut out your BTS memes. Make sure to cut out the faces only. Following the same steps as the Polaroids, we are going to laminate the faces the same way. Get out the cardstock in the faces that you had cut out and already laminated, and we are going to tape them on to create the divider effect. Place your first image on the top and tape it on the back. I am doing this from youngest to oldest. Roll up a piece of tape and stick it on the back of the other side to ensure that it stays on the cardstock. Go ahead and repeat this process with all the other members and make sure that you space it out so you have enough room for all of them. For the next project, you're going to need some colorful paints, paintbrushes, some wooden pencils, and an area where you can paint. So go ahead and paint all your pencils with different colors that you want. When you have completed painting your pencils, you can now use a damp napkin to go ahead and clean off any paint you got on the eraser. Using a gel pen or a regular pen, you can now write the names of each member on each of the pencils. Once you have completed this, you can now sharpen your pencils. And I had accidentally ruined the gin pencil. Now the pencils are complete and you can feel free to write with them or put them in your J-Hope pencil pouch or, you know, just whatever you feel like doing with your pencils. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so please subscribe and like the video and comment. Um, tell me if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.
I love hamburger and Sprite.